If you can uh, produce an ebook on your own and put it up for 99 cents and it can compete with all the big name publishers, why aren't more people going to do this? Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and today we're talking with Lee Doran, the author of an ebook that is burning up Amazon.com's bestseller list called Please Enroll Responsibly. Lee is also the auteur behind the popular video website at YouTube, How the World Works. Lee, thanks for joining. Thanks for having me. Tell us about Please Enroll Responsibly. It's a guide for students and parents about what to do when it comes to college time. What are you, what are you trying to accomplish? Well, I was receiving emails from parents and students for quite a while uh, talking about teachers and professors who were politically biased and they didn't know what to do. And a lot of times I'd write really long email responses and I figured, well, why not just publish a, a ebook mm providing some tips and techniques for parents and students on what to do. Is it also a guide to uh, talk about like what schools you might find more interesting or right, more a copacetic? A lot of the hard sciences you can avoid uh, some biased professors. It's not to say take no uh, you know, sociology yeah, or, or, or psychology humanities, or, huma like or humanities, right. but it's less likely that you're going to be inundated with uh, political ideology. But then you're stuck taking science classes. Of, of course, oh, okay. of course, and I, I don't suggest just avoiding right. those, but it it's less likely it's going to happen. Why an ebook as opposed to going a more conventional route of getting an agent and a book publisher? I think that's the way of the future. Uh, I think more and more people are going to be able to do it and if it, this becomes successful and I don't necessarily need a publishing arm to get my book out, why are people going to wait around to get that phone call from a publishing company or have to go through pitch after pitch to get someone to notice them? If you can uh, produce an ebook on your own and put it up for 99 cents and it can compete with all the big name publishers, why aren't more people going to do this? Talk a little bit about one of the sources that you provide for your, uh, you know, for everybody is how the world works. Uh, talk about that at YouTube and how that came into being and what you're trying to accomplish with that. It was sort of an accident. I always like talking about politics and so one day, a about two and a half years ago, I decided, hey, I'll just start uploading some videos with my political opinion. And they started to really get some traction. And I was able to develop an audience. And even uh, large networks like Fox News uh, pick, picked up some of my videos. What was, what's your most recent video on? On the, uh, the stimulus, on whether or not the stimulus was, was successful. And many of the fact checkers on CNN were, were arguing that, of course, it, was, it worked because the CBO said it did. Well, if you look at what the CBO did, it's not not really a good measure of whether it was successful. Right, they were just checking the math embedded in the model that the administration was pushing. So, assuming that the administration had calculators at hand, the CBO was going to find, yeah, it checks out just exactly like they said. Right. Uh, what's the appeal of uh, of your YouTube videos? Because I mean, you you get tens and even hundreds of thousands of views, but it's pretty low tech. Where it's, I mean, you're basically just talking. Um, you know, why is that drawing uh, viewers? I actually think that's why it works, um, because it doesn't feel like you have a corporate backing, which I don't. I mean, I make it some of my videos in 15 minutes just in my apartment where I'll just talk to a camera, and I, I try to research, you know, the, I try to do a lot of research, which people might not have time to do, and so I. I just think that's why it takes off. A lot of people worry that uh, you know something like YouTube, as well as the internet more broadly, leads to a splintering and a fragmenting of a common culture. Um, do you buy that, or do you think it's it, that is far more outweighed by the ability of you and other people to actually speak up? It's totally decentralized at this point, and you can get more information than you ever could before. And it's really no excuse if people choose to bubble themselves off from other information, especially when it's out there. Lee Doran, I want to thank you for talking to Reason TV. Lee Doran is the author of the ebook available at Amazon.com. Please enroll responsibly and check him out at YouTube at How the World Works. Thanks, Lee. Appreciate it.